Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And today's shout out goes to Gav Street 13. Gav Street was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a neat review of a neat new drone that's just come out. This is the Ishin Novice 3 Ready to Fly FPV kit. It comes with everything you need to fly FPV out of the box. This transmitter is already bound to that drone, ready to go. These goggles are already set to the frequency that the drone's uh, transmitter is on, even though it, has, it also has auto scan. Just in case it is, <laughs> you'll be able to find it. But let's go over what you get here. This is actually a nice kit. Now, as I mentioned before, this is intended for, well, I wouldn't say this one's for beginner flyers, folks. This is a little bit uh, um, much, too much for a beginner flyer. But I would say for intermediate flyers, that have want, want to enter into FPV, this would be a really good kit for you folks. It's ready to go out of the box. Um, we get a very nice drone, the Novice 3 drone. Um, again, it's, it's a little bit too much, too punchy for a beginner to be flying, but an intermediate flyer should have no problem with this particular drone. And again, everything else you need to go. Let's go over real quick what you get. You get the uh, EV800D goggles. These are very nice goggles. Um, they're, you know, they're not top of the line goggles, but they are good goggles for intermediate, intermediate pilots wishing to enter into FPV. Also, you get this Ishin ERA transmitter. I'll go over this in a little detail too here shortly. But let's start off uh, with the goggles first off. Again, I mentioned you get the ER or EV800 goggles. These have been around for a while. They, they are reasonably good goggles. I believe these pop off this, yeah, this does pop off if you want to just use the screen only. Uh, but if you want, actual goggles where you put it up against your head you can do such so for those countries that uh, don't allow you to use goggles that you have to use a screen well they are screens also you know, FPV monitor screen or goggles uh, to, you know just snap them on and off let me try to snap it back on again and slide it back on there we go and it becomes goggles now I mentioned um, it has auto scanning capability um, it's 40 channels it receives 40 different channels including including race band and uh, you receive them by you can search for them by first turning on the goggles which would be that switch there, holding it down, and then clicking the search button and it will scan through the frequencies to find the frequency of the, the FPV transmitter from your drone. Now, as I mentioned, this is all, should be already set up, ready to go, uh, connected to your drone, but in case it isn't, just hit that search button and it will find the frequency of the transmitter. It also comes with a, uh, I believe this is right-hand circular polarized antenna. Um, although this drone is not using a polarized antenna, you're ready. <laughs> this will work with it, but... Uh, uh, you know, you have it in case you do want to switch to a different drone with polarized antennas. This will work with them too. Um, it has a five-inch diagonal screen. Very. Let me actually pop it off again to show you that screen. Five-inch diagonal screen. So this is actually a pretty big screen for for goggles. Um, it's 800 by 480. Uh, pixel resolution, which is reasonable resolution for these this size goggles. It does have a built-in 3.7 volt, uh, 2,000 milliamp per hour battery, so you don't have to use an external battery pack to power this one. The, the battery is already built in, ready to go. And uh, other things you get with these goggles, let's go over them. What comes in the box with this? You get an AV cable. There's an AV out or video output. So if you want to connect this to a DVR or an external monitor to view the video, you can do such. Um, it comes with this little power cable for powering the goggles from an external power source if you don't want to use that uh, internal battery. Or if that internal battery wears down, you can just plug another battery in there via this little red JST connector to keep powering it. And it comes with its charger. And this is the charger. Uh, it's a micro USB or it's a USB charger with this little micro pin that plugs into the charging side, which is here, right there. It plugs in there, and there's the AV or the video output port, right there. AV. Actually, I think it has sound too output. But uh, let's see. What else do you get? You get a little microfiber cleaning cloth for the goggles, and finally this little bag for carrying the goggles. Goggles carrying bag. Okay, the other thing you get in this box uh, is the Ishin ER8 transmitter. Okay, this is actually a pretty capable transmitter. It has four three-position switches. Two of them are already set up for the drone. Uh, this will be your arming switch. I believe you come down like this and it'll arm. And this switch here is set up for toggling between acro all the way forward 
and stabilized mode for beginner pilots in the center position and air mode for doing stunts all the way back position. It also has two analog dials on the top here if you need, if you want to use this to fly something else that requires analog dials you got it. Um, the big thing about these Ishii ER8 uh, transmitter, ERA transmitter is it's OpenTX protocol here, so it's very highly configurable. Um, if you want to um, adjust the the uh, uh, different uh, switches on here and the pitch roll stick or the throttle and yaw the sensitivity, you can do such um, through the menus of here. Now, OpenTX is not the easiest thing to learn, folks. So before you go monkeying around with this changing the settings since this is already set up to your drone ready to go before you do that I strongly recommend you go on YouTube and look at two tu tutorials for OpenTX protocol okay so or OpenTX software for this uh, for these type of configurable controllers otherwise you're gonna mess it up and I don't recommend messing with the OpenTX settings for out of the box until you're ready you feel you're ready then you want to adjust some of these settings because you don't like how the stick feels you want to adjust a little bit make it a little more sensitive then consider going in there to adjust those parameters um, after you again view the tutorials on YouTube one thing about my particular transmitter and I'm gonna have to sa sadly say is that mine was damaged in transit <laughs> the pitch roll stick is inoperative it's 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 broken folks it got broken in transit so I will not be able to fly this, my drone with the open with this uh, Ishin ERA uh, goggle or transmitter. Now these Ishin ERA transmitter is Free Sky eight channel D8, so I can use a different channel that use that uses Free Sky D8 since this drone has a Free Sky receiver in there. And I'm going to be using my um, T8SG goggle or T8SG transmitter to fly the drone today. But I'm you know I, I kind of bums me out, folks. But I. I have no, no other recourse here since it was, this was damaged in transit. So I will not be flying with the Ishii ER8 transmitter. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, though, I know I was wondering, does this have multi-protocol capability since it has OpenTX? Sadly, no, it does not. Okay, there is no, there is no multi-protocol uh, capability with this particular transmitter. It's strictly a 8-channel uh, FreeSky transmitter with OpenTX to allow you to configure it, uh, put you know, make it highly configurable. So that is the Ishin ER8 transmitter for those that were wondering. Okay, uh, let's go over the drone itself. Now this drone is actually a pretty nice drone, folks. Um, it's uh, it's a 135 millimeter uh, Twig class drone. So, you know, this is a little bit too big for beginner pilots, in my opinion, to be flying. And a little too powerful, a little too zippy for beginner pilots to be flying, especially in uh, its 2S and 3S capability. Okay, um, it actually comes with 3S batteries. You get two of them. I, one of them is for actually powering uh, this thing. I forgot to mention, this is powered through a 3S balance port right there. So you're going to have to use a 3S battery. So one of these batteries that comes with this, you are going to need to use to power your transmitter. So keep that in mind. I forgot to mention that. But uh, the drone itself, it's 62 grams, weighs 62 grams without the battery. It's a 135 millimeter class, which means from diagonally from motor to motor, it's 135 millimeters in length. It can use 2S or 3S batteries. Um, the camera on it is actually a nice camera. It's a CADDX, CADX. EOS 2 1200 TV line camera on here. Um, the video transmitter that's with that comes with this is a 25 to 400 milliwatt switchable transmitter with smart audio capability. So you'll be able to adjust parameters of the drone, such as the PIDs, along with the different channel settings of the and um, power settings of the video transmitter. Uh, using uh, your goggles and the transmitter itself and to get into those menus by the way is you wear the goggles connected to the drone move the throttle stick to the center position and to the left and the pitch roll stick full up and that will enter into the menu so you can do those changes um, other things about it it has a built-in digital video recorder right there okay where you can put your micro SD card in there and record 720p video 1280 by 720 pixel resolution and it automatically starts recording as soon as you plug in the battery 
but you're going to need to remember to stop the recording, unfortunately, before I'm plugging that battery. I thought that it would also have automatic stop capability, but it does, it does not. Um, you know it'll be recording because there'll be a little red light. It'll start flashing there. Let me show you that little red light. I'll plug in the battery momentarily to show it there. Um, and that little, it's right under the blue light there. It'll, here, under the blue light there. I don't know if it's coming in, but it's flashing now. I don't know if that's showing up or not. I hope it's showing. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see with my camera here. But there's a little red light by the blue light that flashes to let you know you're recording. And when you're done recording after flight, press this back button here. And that will stop the recording to make sure that you have it finalizes the recording onto the micro SD card. Okay. That's the DVR. Now the flight controller board here is a F4 flight controller board loaded up with Betaflight 4.0.5, dated August 1st, 2019. Uh, the flight controller also has a built-in 10, 10 amp 4 and 1 ESCs for the motors to power the motors to control the motors. It also has a built-in uh, FreeSky receiver, FR Sky receiver. Uh, it's a D8 receiver, so it's a channel. Uh, you're going to have to select D8 if you want to make any adjustments in beta flight. Actually, I think this one can also fly with D16 if you wish, but they recommend using D8 to, uh, you know, a channel to uh, connect to the transmitter. Um, it also has on-screen display, so you'll be able to, to see important flight parameters, and you'll see that today when we go flying, when I'll be recording that. Um, I'm going to switch probably between my... I'm going to be using uh, different goggles on these EV800s because I want to also record... Um, the uh, FPV video that I'm seeing through the goggles to show you the uh, um, on-screen display. So I'm going to switch back and forth between the uh, the 720p video that's recording here, which I don't think does record the on-screen display, along with what I'm seeing through the goggles. So when you see on-screen display information, that's the goggles recording, and when you don't, that's the 720p video off the card. Now, um, the motors on this are... EX1203 KV, uh, 5500 KV motors, brushless motors, and uh, they should provide plenty of power for this little twig. And also with this, this does have very bright LED bars on this. Let me show you those again. Plug in the battery LEDs that you could, this will help you find this drone. There, there's the LED bars under the belly. <laughs> under the top now this would have been nice if they put these on top so that you could see them better but it it's it's enough i think outdoors if this gets lost in the grass or you know the bushes you'll be able to see these led these bright leds to help you find it out in the sunlight <laughs> i mean, hope oh, <laughs> we'll see but it also in case you don't it also has a beeper a controllable beeper setup uh that you can turn on you, you heard it there when i plug it in here That's the ESCs, but you heard beep, beep, the little chirp there, that was the beeper there. So you can set that off. That's also to help you find this drone in case it gets lost in the grass or bushes after a crash. And also you get in the box, I forgot to mention, since this is powered, this can be powered by a 2S or a 3S battery. Uh, I don't recommend going to 4S, even though the uh, flight control board says it can go up to 4S. I don't know about the other components on this particular drone if it can withstand 4S power. So they, they only recommend 2S or 3S, so don't try 4S is what I'm saying, folks, with this particular drone. And um, you get these two of these 450 milliamp hour uh, batteries that are tattoo. You can also select a six battery version and get six batteries if you want to keep flying. That costs more. You get more, you know, four more batteries, but again, they are tattoo 450 milliamp per hour, 11.1 .1 volt lipo batteries. They are not LIHV, if you, in case you're wondering. So don't worry about that. <laughs> so other things you get in there is a battery charger for these batteries, and that, this is a nice battery charger. This is what I have been using for years. It came with an old WL toys, but um, I forgot the original name of this battery, but Charsoon also makes a version of this. But these are nice chargers. I like them. They tell you the battery voltage. They do, um, uh, what do you call it, um, balance charging. And uh, it can balance charge between 2S, 3S, and up to 4S batteries with this. I don't Now, I don't recommend you doing, you know, super large batteries with this. This will do it, but it'll take a long time because this, the power output from this is only about one to one and a half uh, amps output 
charging power to the battery so uh, it's perfect for these style batteries you know the, for the micro FPV racers but when you get into the big ones you might want to consider a better charger than this because this this will take forever to charge those huge larger batteries but you get the power supply for it also it comes with it other things you get in the box spare set of propellers a screwdriver and extra screws a prop puller and an allen wrench tools for adjusting your drone uh, you get instruction manual. Uh, it's reasonably well inst written instruction manual for the drone, the goggles, and the controller. But again, this controller, OpenTX, takes a while to learn again. So I strongly recommend if you want to mess with those settings in OpenTX, go on YouTube and uh, brush up on tutorials for using OpenTX. So that's about it, folks. Let's take this out into the field and see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight. That's not it, folks. I forgot. I always forget to do this. This also comes with a really nice carrying case for all of these components. They all fit inside here, believe it or not. You know, here's the goggles. You put the drone down here, and you put the controller on top of the drone right there. Uh, unfortunately, this is how it was shipped to me. Uh, they, they wrapped this in a little plastic bag, and somehow this got crunched in transit, and that's how my transmitter get, got damaged. I hope that uh, Banggood will... Uh, package this inside a box before shipment you know just don't package it in a bag and send this out because th i don't think this is sufficient to protect the drone and its components in international shipment <laughs> so okay that's it now let's go out and fly this thing good morning quadcopter 101 here we are ready for our flight of the novice three out here at one of my favorite flying fields for these little micro fpv flyers um i got I'm going to be using my T8SG. I got it turned on already. Let's plug it in. We're going to do line of sight flying first. We'll start off with line of sight and then we'll switch to FPV. Let's just see what we got here. Plugging it in and putting it on the pad, on my flight pad. And right now we're going to start off in angle mode, arming the motors and making sure this is turned on and it's on. Arming the motors and let's take to the air. Let's see what it looks like up close. Try a punch. Whoa, a lot of punch, a lot of punch, folks, with that 3S. Bring it around again to show you that. Bring it up close. And punchy little thing, huh? Punchy, punchy, punchy. Let's bring it around. And just fly it around and see how, oh, it's a zippy thing. This is going to be fun. FPV in. Because this thing is a zippy little machine. Zippy, zippy, zippy. Not too loud. I was wondering if this is going to be a super loud dr or a drone, but it's not. Bringing it over here. Let's try, try going to horizon mode. <laughs> it does flips quite nicely. Bring it back over again, going up. Three flips. <laughs> See those flips? This thing can really... Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> How about four? Four flips. It flips quite nicely. Now this thing's supposed to have a lot of flight time, folks. I'm going to try flying FPV now. Let's switch back to angle. Let's put it on the pad. Let's just put it down on the ground, and then I'll put it on the pad, and then we'll fly FPV. So hold on, folks. Okay, um, we still, that's still my first battery. Uh, we're gonna fly it with my T8SG here. Let me adjust this a second, folks. Okay, that should be good. And um, right now I got 11.67 volts, 3.8 volts, 3.9 volts per cell, that's good. So we still have some more flight time. Let's put it into air mode and arm it. Motors are spinning and let's take to the air. I'm gonna get a feel for it first. Wow. This is a fast machine. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's gonna get it. <laughs> Hold on, folks. Well, <laughs> I came on that tree a little bit fast. This thing's fast, so you gotta stay ahead of it. Okay, go into air mode and army. Go back to the air. But yeah, you gotta stay ahead of this thing. It's a fast machine. It keeps the motor clean. 
try some uh, slaloming. Well, not real slaloming with this. I just want to get a feel for it still. But look how fast this thing can go. How far can we go also? I'm, uh, 57, 56, I'm halfway down the field. Really good range, really good range on this, over 100 meters. Coming around, coming around. Actually, let's go up higher. Try that. Going around. Still getting a feel for this. It... But it's a mean machine. Okay, let's go fast, Bias. Around us. Going up and over. Mean machine. This is an. Again, um, not for beginners, in my opinion. Uh, intermediate flyers already know how to fly FPV. You should fly this thing because it is such a mean monster. <laughs> this is a good drone. Impressive drone. And I'm still in that first battery. It's a long flyer. That's what impresses me about it. It's a real long flyer, folks, for what I'm doing with this thing. At the speed I'm flying. The speed this, this thing can fly at. Going up and over, I don't want to hit that tree. It's It goes so fast, you really don't have much time to react with this thing. <laughs> That's another reason I don't think it's for beginners. But they call it a novice in name only. This is a novice in name only, folks. <laughs> it's a mean machine. I wonder if they're selling this drone separately for those that already have controller and goggles because this is going to be a popular drone. Okay, now I'm getting low battery warning there. Well, I had a little punch there. But I still got voltage. Still got plenty of voltage when I slow down a bit. It slowed out a bit. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's go by as fast. Ooh. Okay, now I'll say low voltage again. So we're going to think about landing it here shortly, but I don't know. It's still going. You get a little bit of voltage sag there, but now, yeah, yeah, we better think about landing shortly. I'm just going to slow down. Okay, now I gotta slow. I gotta land it. It's beeping. We're coming in. <laughs> okay, let me pop one more battery. That thing is so awesome. I want to fly it again. So hold on, folks. One more battery coming up. Unfortunately, that landing there uh, was a little rough, and I popped the uh, micro SD card out on the landing. Uh, so I don't think I got the 720p for that second flight there. But uh, I got it started again, so and we got a full battery, and go into air mode, and away we go. Let's arm it, take it to the air. Yeah, this this is a little rocket, folks. Little rocket. Okay, well I got time on it. Let's since it's a rocket, let's let's play it with it. that now let's get some speed on it again that's that's where this thing shines this could be a racer people could race this one yeah this one I'm going up above those trees I don't want to hit those trees again because this thing goes so fast I'm worried about breaking it <laughs> okay let's go around the area here going around going around Just zipping around we'll go all the way down the field here folks way down the field. I don't normally fly down here, but uh, this one you can. Let's go around this way now. And then fly by us. Isn't that a little rocket, huh? <laughs> a little bean machine. I like this machine. It is neat. Just, whoa. 
<laughs> Novice three, again, threes come up on you so fast with this, you got to stay ahead of it. Stay ahead of this machine, but the range on it is excellent. Look at that RSSI. We were way over there, about 100 meters. Excellent range. But then again, I don't know about the ER8 transmitter. I haven't tried to do this with the ER8, but the ER8 supposedly got super range also. I'm just balls to the wall. I mean, sorry about that, folks. Uh, pedal to the metal. <laughs> Okay, that, that drained that battery quite a bit there going like that. I like it. I like it a lot, this little machine. Okay, cool, cool it down a bit. The voltage has gone back up again. It's no more sag. No more sag there, so we can go over here now. Let's do a left turn around this. Hard left. Good flight time with this, especially for the type of flight I'm doing here. <laughs> High speed. Oh man, it goes up in the air just at a moment's notice. It zips up there. So much power in this thing. Lots of power in this thing. I think this is going to be a very popular drone. The Novice 3 drone, the drone itself. I don't know about the ready to fly package, you know, a lot of people that are going to want this drone already have goggles, <laughs> already have FPV transmitters. They're going to want the drone. This thing is pretty awesome. <laughs> Zippity zoo. Go fly mass. Okay, battery. Well, it's still got battery power. Slow down, but yeah, it's starting to get a little bit slow, a little bit uh, lower voltage. So I'm going to bring it in here shortly. I don't want to damage this battery like I think I did damage the other one. <laughs> I think I damaged it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me stop the recording, folks. Make sure I get this recording before I turn this off. Okay. Um, yeah. The... Because I'm flying so fast, folks, I have that, and it came that way, the uh, camera is tilted up real fast, and that makes it real high, and that makes it somewhat difficult. And did my card come out again? No, it did not. So let's stop the recording. So we got recording that time. Uh, but uh, you're going so fast with this camera up like this that you really can't see the deck or the ground as you're coming in. So... You have to guess how close you are to the ground, and that time I guessed too high. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's put this back in again. Um, the Novice 3, the package, um, it's, you know, if you're an intermediate flyer and you want something and you want to enter into the world of FPV, this this one's a good one. Uh, but it's, you really should know how to fly before you fly this thing, because it, it is a little rocket. <laughs> i got to say, it's a rocket. And again, I think that... Uh, most people that are going to be interested in this will be intermediate and above flyers, and they, those type of people already have their own goggles and have their own transmitter. So I wonder if Ishin is going to send this. Let me unplug this. Ishin or Baggood will be able to sell this drone separately because I think it'll be a popular drone. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.